behalf of Dr. Dorothy and Dara and our entire group, what I love is that the action is what we were. This whole afternoon has been really energized and excited about tangible things that we can do. What I first want to start for just a moment is talking about a couple of successes that we had in 2011. And when we're talking about collaboration, NBEIB, along with a lot of other groups, we're talking the Louisiana State Police was held at their headquarters. It was a statewide training. Louisiana District Attorneys Association, um, Probation and Parole, La Fossa, the Louisiana Coalition Against Sexual Assault. It was amazing to see all these groups come together to talk about a multidisciplinary and collaborative approach to shattering the silence of violence. It was a full day event. We had the Attorney General of Louisiana speak. We had the Chief Justice of the Louisiana Supreme Court, Kitty Kimball, speak. It was incredible, and the feedback that we got was amazing. So that was one thing. We also, as Francis Ashkowins mentioned, it's really important that we look at violence on college campuses, and September is Campus Safety Awareness Month. So right now, in September, on dozens of college campuses across the country, NPEIV is, is working with 10 leading groups on shattering the silence of sexual violence on college campuses, and it's really focused on bystander intervention. We have little cards on stepping in that stopping violence is everyone's business. And it's really exciting, we've been featured on CNN for this campaign. We also, another shout out to my friend and colleague, Francis Ashcoins. <laughs> we did media in the movement at the DC National Press Club in March. It was extremely well attended. We had an Emmy Award winning journalist as the MC, and it really talked about the power of language. Wendy Murphy spoke, Joyce Thomas, and it was really inspiring, and a lot of people got a lot out of it. And talking about the power of language, but how we need to collaborate also with journalists. Now, when we're talking about the committee that we're in here, networking and public relations, it really is two in one, it's a happy little marriage. The networking we've decided is kind of members to members and also recruiting new members, but public relations is really the members of NPEIV to the general public. And when we're talking about networking, and we did put our timeline with our objectives here, but one of the main objectives is to recruit and retain members as well as engage the existing members. So just because there's a bunch of member organizations within NPEIV, what does that really mean? Are they being engaged? And we really need to clarify the identity. Are we tied to IVAP? Kind of clarify who we are, what we're doing. Create an invitation to highlight the benefits of being a part of NPEIV. That's one thing Dr. Jackie White talked to our group about. We really need to focus on what folks are getting out of working with us and being a part of this movement. And I think really calling it a social change movement is something that's going to help our success to get people involved. We are definitely on monthly conference calls with the team members. We love to see a monthly newsletter. Some action committees talked about that. We need to better showcase what other organizations within the partnership are doing so people feel more invested, they feel more celebrated. And then we also want to see a search engine optimized website. And I know that public relations talked about that. We'd love to work with them. We need to have a map, and I'm just going to show you, PAVE, my nonprofit, launched a brand new website very recently, and you can type in the location, and it pulls up where the closest affiliate or chapter of PAVE is. That's something we can easily do with the technology of WordPress. We're definitely looking to do this. We have it all with all the social media on the side. It's integrated with these little bars on the side. Donate, take action, what to do. Or it's very user friendly and it's all very easy to update. So Evelyn could easily update. We can get articles coming from Ken and from different groups and then somebody like Evelyn could easily update the website. It's very user friendly. So that's one goal that we'd like to see for this year. So, Again, the objective of recruiting and retaining members 2012 to 2013 is add more content to the website, meaning we want all the experts in the room to have content. The way that we did our website for PAVE is that everything has the social media buttons on the bottom. So you click tweet it, you click put it on Facebook, and then that information gets out into the world. We need to do a much better job of leveraging technology about all this awesomeness that we're doing and all of you in the room, all of your expertise needs to be out there. And um, we want to organize the membership also by content. So at first, this first next year, we'd like to do it by region, and then also have it searchable by content, by keywords as well. 
And we want to really do a much better job of celebrating and getting it out there, the media of some of the experts in the room. Wendy Murphy is on national TV about every other day, but we need to have that somehow housed within our website, YouTube links, things like that, to show when she's gonna be on. Same thing for Dor Dr. Dorothy Espelage um, and some of the other members of the group that are doing national media. And to get a YouTube channel for short little clips, interviewing some of the experts here in the room. Another objective is youth movement to engage with them on interpersonal violence. And the deliverables are to reach out to youth groups, develop a youth board, develop a student council board, but the most important thing is to give them action kits for these youth-driven campaigns. We know that these students and these kids have a lot of energy. We just need to tell them exactly what to do. So that's for 2012 to 2013. Now in terms of public relations, one of the objectives is to reach the target audiences and general public, leveraging not only media through various local and national media, but also through social media. And that's one thing that we really need to do a better job at. So 2011 to 2012, we are going to lead a webinar, and this is something that the last action team talked about, a webinar talking about interacting with the media, as well as the use of social media. So that's not only for the researchers and practitioners, but some benefit that we can offer to all the member agencies within the partnership. So giving these webinars, we're also going to identify the media press connections. I think we all have a couple that we can put into a database. And we don't really have a great press kit, so we're going to be developing a press kit this year. And then we're really going to build a much stronger platform for social media. And that could also include little widgets for people's websites within the partnership, where people can just put this fun little you know, widget on their website, click on it, and it just becomes a lot more interactive. And then we're also going to build on the notion, one of somebody in our group mentioned, an ambassador for change. And I really like that. One thing that my nonprofit PAVE has done is launched an ambassador program where we're using famous people in Hollywood to spread our message, but it's really important, we talked about in our group, if we're gonna be leveraging Hollywood, we need to make sure that they understand and get our issues. That's really important. So objectives, again, to reach the target audiences by media and social media, 2012 to 2013, we're going to we'd like to prepare a symposium of journalists, bloggers, and op-eds for the conference, maybe for IVET in 2012, and to prepare collaborating with dissemination action team, like research to practice briefs, put it on the web, make it easy to find, and also to prepare webinars for the partner leaders so they can better educate all their members on, on what we do. I just think we need to engage more with all of our partners. So we also need to leverage all the experts in the room. I'm surrounded by experts in the field of interpersonal violence, stopping the violence, and all these things. And what we need to do is to set the foundation and systems to be very reactive with the media. So we've got all these experts in the room, some big story breaks. NPEIV needs to be on the front line with our experts. And so having that foundation and the systems to be set, and there's a lot of ways that we can do that. Um, we need to profile all the experts on the website. We'll be working with public awareness in terms of the Speakers Bureau. How can we profile all the experts in the room and provide them media training as well? We're on the same page here. And make them available to the media to respond to these current events. So again, being that reactive piece is really important. So Victor inspired me. I'm going to leave you with a quote. Is never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has on the back of my business cards. Thank you.